Today's podcast is brought to you by audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash using your power. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. <laughs> Welcome to Using Your Power. This is Maveen Cora. And this is David Andrew Weeb. David Andrew Weeb, how are you doing? I'm great, man. Awesome, man. What are we talking about today? We're having a look at taking the high value off of celebrities, which I believe is an idea you came up with. Yeah, it's, it came off, uh, I was listening to the radio and I was actually listening to it in French for, just trying to see if I can keep up with the, any French language that I learned when I was a little kid and living in Montreal. Wow. So just seeing if I still kind of recognize the words and they just kept talking about celebrities and celebrities and, you know, it kind of triggered the thought is why do we put such a high value on them? And I thought we should do a quick talk on that. And uh, it's trying to stick to our new format of, you know, within that 15 to 20 minute mark and see if we can do a talk on that. So why don't you go first? Sounds great. And I'm sure we're going to have some overlapping points with with this one. So it's going to be easy. The first thing is like we don't value our own lives enough. So we just don't think (laughs) as highly of ourselves as we should. And we don't put much of a priority on, on ourselves. And we just live vicariously through others and think that's entertainment. And really what we end up doing is putting more value on other people and end up comparing ourselves. So that's not healthy. Right. And there's a lot of that right now especially with shows like big brother and 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 all these cooking shows and stuff right we end up watching and rooting for somebody else to win they don't even have to be celebrities especially in like big brother they go on the show and then they become celebrities yeah. and uh, you know we we say we root for them and we cheer for them instead of going out like you're saying and just going and living our lives the way we should be intended to live our life Exactly, because it seems boring, but trust me, everybody's life is boring at times. <laughs> Doesn't matter who you are. Right to the point, hey? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cutting, cutting edge. Um, you know, so I, I think uh, sometimes what happens is we put so much emphasis on, you know, actors and actresses in the movies, and we, we put them on this pedestal believing that they're so perfect, uh, that, and we believe they don't have the same problems as we do, and as us common people do, and I'll put that in quotes, you know, but they still have the exact same battles yeah. as we go through about drugs and breakups and jail and 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 having DUIs you hear it all the time where these celebrities are going through the same stuff but they end up actually getting more treatment or better treatment than uh, people like us or if we were to do the same thing right I mean you hear about all these overdoses of musicians and, and you know we still place such a high value and say you know we still look up to these these guys are our role models but our role models are drunks and and uh, uh, drug addicted people and isn't that the truth? And I think those problems are only amplified when you become a celebrity. It's not like it gets easier. I mean, sure, maybe you have the bail money or whatever, but now you're in the public eye. And the more mistakes you make, the more people kind of put a label on you. And you may not get booked for certain types of gigs or opportunities anymore just because you did this or that or you don't have a clean image anymore. So, yeah. No, for sure. So is that your point or is that just an add-on? That was just a quick add-on. Okay, go ahead, man. Next point. I, I think if we get engrossed in our own creative projects, we would take you know so much emphasis off of celebrity celebrities and other people that are that are famous because we would be spending time doing the things that you know make us fired up and makes it make us excited and something that we want to do with our time and so I, I would just encourage people to get into their own creative projects and try different things yeah, for sure. And, and I don't think there's anything wrong with uh, looking up to people. I think, uh, you know, because my point is, you know, who is your role model? And, and you know, if, mm. if a celebrity is doing something that you would like to do out there and they're being the right role model for you, then go out and be there and follow what they're doing and learn from them. But again, keep in mind, you know, these same people still have the exact same problems as you do. They go through the same stuff. So don't put them on a pedestal and, you know, think about why you want that celebrity to be your role model versus a different celebrity, right? So I know, for example, someone like Tom Hanks, you know, he he's not necessarily seen as a huge role model in in um, Hollywood, but we're, we always bow down to all these musicians and actors who have, you know, Brad Brad, uh, Brad and Angelina, right? Mm-hmm. They go through a divorce. But if you look at someone like Tom Hanks, he's still with his wife after so many years. Why aren't we celebrating that kind of success? Instead, we just talk about all the bad publicity that's in, in uh, you know, the media. Yeah, I mean, that's a huge discussion on, on role models. I think it's really who we look up to. It's, we, and we have a choice in that. And we should make up our conscious mind as to who we should look up to. No, for sure. Great. 
I think it's important for us to get involved in community or collaboration. We had that episode on, on community fairly early on. You can have a listen to that as well. But just beginning to work with, with others. And now, you know, it's a group effort. You're not just doing it alone. You're not doing solo. Now you're working with others. And now there's a, everybody has kind of a vested interest in, in seeing that community succeed or seeing that project succeed. And as you build that teamwork, you begin to realize, hey, we can accomplish cool things and do big things too. Absolutely, you know, and I think uh, what we unfortunately have allowed celebrities to do is put such a huge impact on the way we make decisions. I know um, celebrities are used f- to sell everything. You know, I was watching uh, just a, a show the other night, and Matthew McConaughey McConaughey was on a, mm-hmm. on one of the commercials for Lincoln, right? So uh, he didn't say a word the whole the whole commercial. <laughs> he didn't say a word, and he got paid thousands of dollars to sell that Lincoln brand by not saying anything. All he had to do was put on a suit. I think he put on a watch, and he d- walked outside to the car, pressed a button and that's all he had to do the whole thing and but we put out so much emphasis on you know this must be such a great brand so you know why why don't the car companies stand behind their product instead of standing behind the celebrity and then behind their product and there probably are royalties or there could be royalties every time that commercial is shown to so for minimal effort you know lots of money rolling in oh for sure you know and it's not just cars it's also the food the makeup you know there's always models yeah. and actresses used for that clothing I know uh, people like uh, PK Subban right in, in hockey he's he's a huge spokesman for a clothing company and he's you know still fairly new to the the uh, NHL world and but he's he, you know he's getting these multi um, million dollar deals I'm assuming uh, just to be you know the, the spokesperson for these brands and people People are going to buy them because they like him. You just made a great point and a segue for me, which is to turn your TV off and begin unsubscribing from entertainment magazines. I mean, we should be subscribed to publications that are relevant to our industry, our careers, our passions and things like that. But if you're subscribed to just general things or celebrity gossip or whatever else, I mean, obviously that's going to be your focus because you're putting your focus on it. And we're all about attention and awareness. I even posted something on Facebook recently about attention. I mean, that's the only currency that you have and you can choose where to put that attention and focus. Right. And, you know, I think you're not saying um, to people, you know, stop, you know, if, if the news is important for your job, then watch the news. Mm-hmm. If the business news is important for investing, because that's what you're interested, in, then listen to the, you know, in, in the investing part of it and, and learn from it and, and understand how you can uh, use that. But, you know, I think if you're just watching mindless television and three, four hours uh, of sports a day, and it's not really adding any additional value to you, unless that's your job is to watch sports and that's how you get paid, then maybe turn off that uh, TV, you know, you're right, uh, get rid of those publications and start looking for different ways and maybe find different hobbies that you can utilize uh, and maybe make a create a paycheck from it. Exactly. I mean, you can turn your brain off from time to time here and there if that's what you want to do and go on Netflix binges and relax or whatever else. But I would suggest, you know, cutting out things that are just extraneous and not adding value. Right. And, you know, just kind of adding on to that, just my own point here, too, is, you know, we pay thousands of dollars, if not multiple tens of thousands of dollars a year to be influenced by the thoughts and the habits and the daily activities of the celebrities. Right. So, we, you know, we want to own that watch that the celebrity has. We want to wear the same clothes. We want to, you know, we repeat the same words that the celebrities are saying especially if you're looking at music for uh, you know it's a huge place a huge way to get people to repeat what people are saying you know and I remember the the word bling bling was never really anything until you know musicians started saying it and then um, it, 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 it's all over pop culture it's on TV it's you got old white ladies saying it on on, right. on, t- on on comedy shows and I was like what is going on here right and, and we're being influenced and they use that word that's really um, popular in music and they spread it all over the different medias and and if I say um, old white lady, I don't mean it in a very rude or derogatory way. Right. It's just the only way it came to me to explain. <laughs> yeah, that's all good, man. And, and I hear you. And I think that, you know, that's the whole point of we can achieve what they've achieved too. That's why, I mean, we put them on a pedestal and we glorify them. But like, if you are willing to work hard for 10 years, 15 years, which we know every, every overnight success is 10 years in the making. If you're willing to put that in, you can achieve what they've achieved. There's nothing stopping you. You're not too young. You're not too old. I mean, you're too old if you're going to die in two years, but you know, <laughs> aside from that. Well, we really never know when we're going to die. So I know we did an episode on that as well. It's yes. a little bit more lengthier episode, but it's a great episode nonetheless. Uh, I, I do believe that was our longest episode we've ever done at 80 or minutes. Close. Yeah. Uh, but I think it was such a relevant um, episode to do because, you know, that's something that's going to all, uh, we all are going to be impacted by death of a family or friend or a, a family member or whatever. And we're going to have our own death someday. So a great listen to, if you have a little bit of time, go listen to that episode. Uh, I believe it just came out on March 27th. And that's actually a good reminder for my last point which is to live your own purpose 
we have to define our, what our purpose is. I mean, you can sort of figure out there are some clues in life or you can sort of pick up on things that were your own pain points or difficulties or challenges that you've experienced along the way to d- determine what that is. But ultimately, you're going to make that choice and you, only you can make the choice about what your own purpose is. But once you're engaged in that purpose, you become focused on it, you become passionate about it and you, your life begins to have a meaning and a lot of the efforts that you're putting in or a lot of things that you do will now contribute to that greater purpose. So I think it's important for us to, to take some time to define that absolutely and i think my point kind of goes with yours not exact but it kind of works with it i'm going to try to make it work with it anyways do it uh, you know big companies use celebrities in my opinion uh you know they have big companies here nike ford car companies whatever not just uh, singling out anybody but they use the celebrities because they have a product to sell you know good or bad the companies really don't care right you know i've seen cigarette companies use celebrities to sell to people right now cigarettes we all know have known to kill people cause cancer but these big companies don't care what um, the cause of it will be they don't really mind what happens to us as long as we buy that product because what they're looking at is the the financial impact to their bottom line versus the health impact to mm-hmm. our our bottom line right so we really have to decide why are we buying these products um, you know that are being um, pushed on us and if it really makes sense right I mean I understand I think back in the day people used to look at James Dean and he was the rebel without a cause the bad boy but people look at it, maybe he's smoking oh maybe I should smoke too but you know was that a really a good decision you have to make that up for yourself well i think a few years back it might have been several years back now people put a big deal on this whole thing of monetizing social media how do we make money from social media how do we bring in more sales and i think that's one of the places that it ultimately led to right is these celebrity endorsements they send a one tweet and get paid hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars or tens of thousands of dollars just to do that one little post so yeah, no, for sure. And I know someone like the Kardashians, uh, they post out uh, one or two posts a day or whatever they do, and they get paid thousands upon thousands of dollars, yeah. if not uh, almost probably millions of dollars in a year, you know, just to say what's on their mind and people go crazy and they like it, they retweet it, they try to make comments, they try to interact with these people. But again, they don't realize how much money that they're continually to create for them uh, because, you know, the more that these companies see, oh, if people want more uh, product or more comments or more tweets from these people, they'll keep paying it. And it's just a vicious circle that really is not helping anybody except the Kardashians. No, for me, it still goes back to that thing of uh, attention, right? Because if you want to build partnerships within your industry, why are you looking to celebrities? They don't have time and you're not going to be able to build that partnership. I'm not saying don't try, but what I am saying is try to build people, you know, relationships with people with wherever you are in your career or you're in your business and then, you know, take it a step further and keep going further and keep pushing yourself to get better connections. But start where you are and start with the people that that you can reach right now. Absolutely. And, you know, there's nothing wrong. I don't think there's anything wrong with with uh, partnering up with celebrities, especially if you have a good of business course. model and the celebrities see that there's a mutual agreement uh, that you know can benefit both sides of the pe- uh, party, right? Um, but you have to find the right celebrity and you have to find a right cause, I think, too. I think a lot of celebrities have found things that they can do and, and uh, causes they can partner up with. But because some of them are so spread out so thin and they're doing so many different things and they want to, I think they truly do want to do a lot of good things for as many people as possible, they don't necessarily always find the right people to partner up with, although it's might seem like a good deal. I think we talked about that on a previous episode. Uh, you get they get they can also get roped into stuff as well that they that may not be a good deal. And sometimes you partnering up with celebrity, you can actually get roped into an even worse deal because True. they got more money. They can they have more lawyers. They got more money to throw at lawyers. So you know you might you might get ripped off for thousands or millions of dollars, and you kind of have to bite the bullet because these guys got lawyers and more influence than you do, and they can actually you know take advantage of that as well. Yeah, and that's just the whole point of working your way up up the ladder because you're going to be presented with unusual contracts and situations you're not familiar with if you try to go too far too fast. If you start simple where you are, your partnerships can be loose. They can be broken any time. They don't have to be exclusive. They don't have to be embargoed. They don't have, you know, there's just so many conditions that you need not apply to simple partnerships like the one you and I have, Mav, and down the line there might be more stipulations, but for the time being it's simple and it's easy and that's what, the way we like it. Yeah, and we're both on the same page. I think we both understand where we want to go recently we talked about saying you know what we let's take our hour hour and a half show or bring it down to maybe about a 15 to 20 minute show let's see how that goes for us i think it allows us to have more energy it gives out it gets out more content it gets uh, to more people more people are going to probably listen to it because it's a shorter format and it, and it allows us to do that and as we keep going we keep building and, and we'll see where it goes you're right exactly we'll adapt as we go so any other final thoughts you know my final thought is you know we put a we put that high uh value on celebrities so we're the only people who can take that high value off of celebrities 
opportunities. Now, if you're looking into, into the, for example, um, business space on online and stuff, there's a lot of online celebrities as well right now, right? And not saying there's anything wrong with any of them. You know, the, the Ramit Sethi and uh, Pat Flynn and mm-hmm. Joel Brown and and uh, James Shremko can't can't go an episode without saying his name if we can try. Can't, yeah. uh, Neil Patel. There's so many great celebrities out there, but we've put them on that celebrity list as long as we can understand. They're, they're just people just like us, and they're just going out there and doing what they're they need to do for their own businesses. That we can still partner up with these great people. But as if we start looking at them as a celebrity or oh my God, they're bigger than life, then we're going to start causing problems for ourselves, mm-hmm. uh, which weren't really supposed to happen. Exactly. I love it. And I mean, just pay attention to, you know, who you're looking up to and who you're spending time on, because really it's about the relationships that matter to you. It could be your best friends. It could be your family. It could be your spouse. You know, you're taking attention away from them by putting all this attention on, on celebrities and putting such a high value on them. So don't do that, you know, put a higher value on them and then you can go and enjoy your celebrity gossip later. (laughs) Well, that's what the 15 minute water cooler is about. I think. Yeah. At work. (laughs) So go and do it in your spare time, but don't, you know, let it take away from things that are important to you and people that are important to you. Absolutely agree, David. Nice. All right. You can find us online at usingyourpower.com. You can leave a comment there or send us a message. You can also download our free course while you're there. And if you're on YouTube, you can also leave a comment or like the video or add it to your playlist or whatever you like to do. Awesome. And don't forget to take us on uh, the go on iTunes. Thanks for listening. Have a great day. Oh, 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 oh,